those cells have really proven their worth in terms of like energy density and capability. And I really think we're only in the, you know, the beginning of that. Until now, we have good reason to be concerned. Will electric cars go the distance? Will they charge quickly enough? Will the batteries last? Will they be affordable? Today, electric car batteries remain the main source of skepticism and the biggest barrier to widespread adoption. Not all EVs offer a range of over 300 miles. Fast charging can still take up to 30 minutes, and many drivers are deterred by the fear of battery degradation, losing more than 25% capacity after just a few years. To make matters more complicated, most EVs in the U.S. are still proving themselves in the market, while Chinese electric car companies are expanding rapidly. However, Tesla is developing a next-generation battery system that's advancing faster than almost any technology we've seen. Each year, the range increases by 35%, charging time drops to just 5.9 minutes, manufacturing costs fall to $97 per kilowatt hour, and thanks to new materials, battery lifespan is nearing the 30-year mark. Car makers, from Ford and GM to Hyundai, are watching closely, pouring tens of billions of dollars into this breakthrough. So, what kind of insane battery is Tesla developing? And when will these new batteries hit the road? Welcome to Tesla Car World. If you find this Tesla update interesting, please like it. This will tell YouTube to share more of this information with you and more tech fans. Thanks. That's going to continue to happen. That doesn't mean we don't also look at trends like solid state batteries and, and, and super caps and other things that might provide other alternatives of energy. But So yes, major players like Mercedes-Benz are going all in on solid state batteries. Sherry is joining the race and a wave of other companies are scrambling to catch up, treating this tech like a golden ticket to the future of electric vehicles. From the outside, it may seem like Tesla is sitting this one out, doing nothing. But that's exactly the perfect misdirection. While the rest of the industry is loudly chasing solid-state batteries, Tesla has been quietly upgrading its own battery technology, and it's happening right in front of us without many noticing. The truth? Tesla batteries aren't just getting better year after year. They're charging faster, performing stronger, and most importantly, they're getting cheaper. And in the words of Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, you know, if you look year over year, um, battery improvements have been always been incremental, you know, uh, about 3% energy density improvement year over year or something like that. And so here's the thing. If we can keep increasing energy density, improving charging speed and dropping the cost of EV batteries, then what are we even arguing about anymore? We mean, just look at Tesla. Their battery prices have plummeted in a way that's honestly kind of insane. Back in 2013, Tesla was paying over $800 per kilowatt hour. Today, it's down to about $110 per kilowatt hour. And by 2026, they're aiming for just $97 per kilowatt hour. That's cheaper than LFP batteries, the very chemistry that's been bragging about low costs for years. Now, people love to say EVs are too expensive, they don't charge fast enough, and they don't go far enough. But here's the kicker. All of those arguments are falling apart year after year. Let's take range, for example. It keeps going up, like seriously. You remember the Tesla Model Y, right? The all-wheel drive version earlier this year had a range of about 530 kilometers. Then Tesla quietly updated it, and boom, 550 kilometers. Fast forward a few months and guess what, 600 kilometers. No big announcement, no flashy marketing, they just made it better. And that's not even the rear-wheel drive version. That one? It's had a 600 kilometers range for quite some time already, with a smaller, cheaper battery pack. So, what's your prediction for Tesla Model Y battery cost? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'll reply to the top ones. So what we're actually seeing here is a pattern. Electric vehicles are getting better and cheaper every year. And the biggest driver behind that? Battery technology. Prices are falling. Energy density is going up. Charging speeds are improving and Tesla is leading that charge. Pun, absolutely, intended. Which brings us to the big question. Do we really need solid state batteries? Sure, they'd be cool, faster charging, higher energy density, maybe even lighter packs. But let's be real. Lithium ion and lithium iron phosphate batteries are already proving they're more than enough for 99% of drivers. 
They're working now. They're scaling now. They're getting cheaper now. Yeah, I mean, battery tech is definitely uh, at the forefront of a lot of things we do at, at, at Tesla. It powers every product that we make. Basically, lithium iron phosphate batteries are currently the cheapest type of battery in the world. Sodium batteries will likely replace lithium phosphate batteries soon when it comes to energy storage. That's because, although sodium has lower energy density, it still offers some advantages. And dime, and one of them is cost. The cost of sodium is extremely low. So that shift is going to happen, right? The low-end segment of the market will probably be dominated by sodium ion batteries in the next few years. And those electric vehicles will be very, very affordable. They'll be even cheaper than equivalent internal combustion engine vehicles. But Tesla said, they still believe there's a lot of progress to be made in microchemistry and in those form factors. And we agree with that. You know, we really have to give Tesla some credit here. Tesla got it right. They were the first company in the world to use lithium iron phosphate batteries in cars. And they didn't just use them in a few vehicles. We mean around 70% of all Teslas were already using lithium iron phosphate batteries years before traditional automakers decided. And here's the crazy part. When Tesla predicted about the battery market, they might have been right from the very beginning. Why? Because while most of the world is still talking about batteries like they're some kind of fixed, unchanging technology, a new wave has quietly been gaining momentum. In just the past six months, we've seen something that, just a few years ago, would have been considered unthinkable. The charging speeds of new EV models have doubled, or in some cases, nearly quadrupled. From 250 kilowatt to 300 kilowatt, that's no longer the ceiling. We're now talking 500, 600, even 1,000 kilowatt ultra-fast charging. But here's the part that really blew our mind. Most of the batteries hitting those insane speeds? They're the same old batteries. Nothing's changed. Literally the same. Same battery structure. Same materials. Same manufacturing tech. There's only one key difference. The software. That's right. Automakers have finally realized that these batteries can actually handle ultra-high charging speeds. And by tweaking just a few lines of code, they're now able to push massive amounts of current without damaging the battery. And that, right there, is one of the biggest breakthroughs happening right now. We don't need to redesign the physical battery. No new formats, no new materials, no nothing, except a little software intelligence. And it's not just about charging speeds. The overall performance of the car, from driving range to thermal efficiency, has been improving year after year, simply through software updates. So if you still think batteries only get better when the hardware changes, you might be missing one of the most important pieces of the puzzle. Software, cooling systems, input current. All of those are quietly changing the game. And here's the real kicker. While performance is going up, battery prices are going down. That's something we've almost never seen before. Production is scaling, costs are dropping, and energy density is still rising. Sounds crazy? But that's the future we're stepping into. And Tesla looks like they've known it all along. When Tesla ramped up production of its 4680 cells at mega factories like Giga Austin and Giga Berlin, it wasn't just a matter of volume. Battery production costs dropped significantly. And the strange part was that energy density actually increased. Back at Battery Day 2020, one of the most iconic tech events of the decade, Tesla didn't just unveil a new 4680 battery cell. They tore up the rulebook and introduced a tabless, significantly larger design that, in Elon Musk's words, would reduce cost per kilowatt hour by up to 56% compared to the older 2170 cells. 56%. That's not a small number. And here's how they made it happen. 14% came from scaling up the size of the cells. 18% came from a more efficient manufacturing process. 5% came from adding silicon to the anode. 12% came from restructuring the cathode. And the final 7%, that came from integrating the cells directly into the vehicle's structural frame, eliminating the need for a bulky battery pack casing altogether. Put it all together, and the result is undeniable. The 4680 isn't just a new battery cell. It's a financial lever that will power Tesla's EV future. And it's not just about cost. The tabless design doesn't just reduce internal resistance. 
It also allows for higher current flow, improved cooling, and faster charging. All while keeping temperatures lower and increasing battery lifespan. To put that in perspective, the original Model S from 2012 had a range of 265 miles on a full charge. Today, the top tier version can exceed 415 miles. That's 150 extra miles, purely from better batteries. No engine changes, no extra fuel. And according to Morav, one of Tesla's senior engineers, the company is transitioning many of its production lines to a unified standard block design for battery packs, one that gets updated every few years. On top of that, Tesla has already begun shifting toward next-gen battery cells from Cattle and LG, all while continuing to manufacture 4680 at both Giga Nevada and Giga Texas. Additionally, the company also manufactures its own batteries in-house, the high-capacity 4680 batteries for themselves. So when will this affordable battery be used in Tesla's EV? A Chinese EV company has confirmed that their electric vehicle, coming next year, will have a driving range of over 1,000 kilometers thanks to solid-state batteries. But what I find really interesting about this story is, you know, manufacturers have been talking about solid-state batteries for nearly a decade now. Lots of promises, lots of prototypes, but very few have actually revealed the technical structure of these batteries. This time, though, Chang'an, in partnership with Huawei, has disclosed the layout, materials, and even the design specifications of the solid-state battery they plan to put into mass production vehicles. That's rare, and it makes me actually think, well, this might actually be real. They stated that the battery will use a high nickel cathode, a silicon carbon anode, and a high conductivity solid-state electrolyte, combined with a 1,200 volt electrical architecture and a 12C fast charging system. The result is a battery with an energy density of around 400 watt hour per kilogram, enabling the vehicle to achieve a real world range of over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. They also claimed that the fast charging system can reach speeds of up to 1,200 kilowatt, far beyond any commercial vehicle available today. With a motor capable of spinning at 30,000 revolutions per minute, this clearly points to a future forward technology. However, while many Chinese companies are chasing breakthrough innovations with solid-state batteries, Tesla is taking a different path, developing improved lithium-ion batteries at a sustainable pace with clear manufacturing efficiency. At the July 20, 2025 event, Lars Moravi emphasized that the company continues to refine both LFP and NMC battery lines. According to him, these batteries can still improve their energy density by about 3% per year, thanks to factors like higher nickel cathodes, increased silicon in the anodes, and optimized cell and pack designs. It's not a revolutionary leap like solid-state batteries, but it's a stable, real, and scalable path forward. Tesla has also broken ground on an LFP battery factory in Nevada, which is expected to supply low-cost batteries for U.S.-made Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. This move helps pave the way for the long-promised $25,000 car Elon Musk once teased, while significantly reducing battery costs. According to multiple reports, the production cost for LFP batteries is now dropping below $100 per kilowatt-hour a price point never seen before. That said, Tesla hasn't completely dismissed solid-state batteries. The company continues to research this technology, along with supercapacitors, but with the view that as long as solid-state batteries haven't proven their scalability, longevity, and stability, lithium-ion remains the core platform. Panasonic, Tesla's major battery partner, even recently stated that it considers solid-state batteries a niche solution not viable for replacing traditional batteries in mass-market EVs. That's a striking stance, especially when compared to the bold claims coming out of China. We know what you're thinking. Is Tesla falling behind? Not at all. What you need to remember is this. Tesla is still the global leader when it comes to battery technology that's actually being deployed at scale. While the company hasn't announced a 1,000-kilometer battery, the Model S Plaid already delivers over 600 kilometers of range. The Cybertruck uses 4680 cells, which offer faster charging and higher performance than the older 2170 cells. 
With each new generation, Tesla continues to improve energy density and reduce cost. We're not denying that this could be the future, possibly within the next five to seven years. Solid-state EVs that fully charge in 10 minutes and drive 1,000 kilometers will eventually arrive. But if you ask me which technology is ready for the mass market today, capable of powering millions of vehicles per year, the answer is still Tesla, with its continuously improving lithium-ion batteries leading the way. The future may be bright, but for now, you still need a company grounded in reality to make it happen. Gas-powered cars are bound to disappear at some point. Maybe not tomorrow, maybe not even in the next few years. But yes, once most countries start banning emission-producing vehicles, it's game over. In other words, electric vehicles are what the world is betting on for the long haul, even if right now they're still more expensive than gas-powered ones. The battery can make up nearly 40% of the total cost of an electric vehicle, and currently, most of these batteries use lithium. In fact, about 75% of EVs on the road today run on lithium batteries. But believe it or not, that's about to change. In the not-so-distant future, lithium could be completely replaced, at least in EVs. Why? Because there are tons of new battery technologies being developed around the world, all with one mission, to knock lithium off its throne. Almost no one knows what just happened at Tesla. But what about this new battery? It could completely rewrite the future of the company, and it might just be Elon Musk's biggest gamble yet. These new types of batteries have clearly been in the works at Tesla for quite some time. Although the company has tried to keep things under wraps, internal leaks have made it obvious that Tesla wants the world to know they're working on something big to push EV battery technology forward, especially for the more affordable models set to launch in the near future. What's incredible is that this new battery is made from much more common and much cheaper materials than lithium, yet it delivers three times the energy density of today's lithium-ion batteries. Of course, no technology is perfect from the start, there are still a few hurdles to overcome, but overall, this battery already outperforms in nearly every aspect. And once those final challenges are solved, it won't just compete with lithium, it could completely replace it, ending lithium's reign once and for all. And now, real-world results are starting to back up that potential. Reports show the new battery technology Tesla is testing has reached energy densities of over 700 watt-hour per kilogram, a figure strong enough to completely reshape the battery industry. To put that into perspective, if you equipped a Tesla with this battery, it could travel over 700 miles, or roughly 1,126 kilometers, on a single charge. Some estimates even push that number closer to 1,000 miles, about 1,600 kilometers per charge. That's such a massive leap that even the most optimistic EV enthusiasts are having a hard time believing it. And while lithium-ion batteries are still widely used today, as we mentioned earlier, they haven't seen any real breakthroughs in energy density for decades. Do you think the new Tesla 4680 batteries will actually launch under $100? Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.